Hello, my name is Nelly and I'm an artist. My current project is Nomate. Nomate is a Greek word that indicates a group of people who are linked to a common idea or share a common environment. I believe that everyone holds an important role in society. Nomate is a monument to the ordinary people, a monument to the human nature. In this project, I used body language as equally indicative to a portrait. At the beginning, I was not sure what the medium should be. Clay is the best. It is earthy, forgiving and has great core feeling when I work with it. I do not use any armature to support the figure. Challenging, but to make them stand on their own feet, walking free of support base, is underlining my notion of freedom. Sketching with clay in three dimensions allow me to emphasize how body language and poise is another portrait of each one of us. Recognition of the sitter happens from the total body and not just the face. The scale was thoroughly examined before the decision that 18 to 20% of reality was the ultimate size for Nomate. For some reason, that scale is more intimate and uncanny. I have asked a lot of people to collaborate in this project. They all study or work at the University of Lincoln or they are connected in some way to it. I ask the sitters to choose a posture that is their favorite standing or sitting position and they photograph them casually. During the session, we shared views about monumental sculptures and the notion of mini-monument or monument, as I call it, that I was about to make. After creating the piece, I was asking how they feel about the mini-me figure. Making the faces vague and rough, I intended to leave the body language free to support recognition to convey messages about the personality become more eloquent than the face. In other words, I wanted the body language to give us an alternative portrait of the character. The sitters were very supportive. They gave back great feedback comments, shared experiences and memories. Through their eyes, I got a wider perspective of the whole project and its audience impact. I should mention that one of the sitters recognized for the first time that he takes the same standing posture like his father did. After making few figures, I started playing with the idea that these figures share not only grounds, but also conversation. Observing them as a group, I realized how they interact and the tension between the figures, the space and the viewer. I was also in control of the setting. I felt like a set director. Their positioning would insinuate different conversations, create different visions. I see them free out in the world, hiding behind something or standing on top of it, surprising us in places that we do not expect to find them. The constant repositioning of these cultural sketches that I'm practicing seeks to explore experiences of cooperation, loneliness, tolerance, success, loss, and ultimately coexistence. The familiarity of the human figure bridges a cognitive chasm between the viewer and the object and as a result understanding improves. The viewer connects easily with the object and the object ceases to be an object. It becomes the mold of our perception, facilitates understanding of an issue, bridges voids, stands for itself and leads the viewer's imagination to make subjective scenarios and reflections. Nomate offers space to frailty, to the seemingly insignificant and the often bewildered. It identifies differences of characters, advocates diversity and eliminates the hierarchies and social positions. The sculptural language, the lack of color variations, erase differences and lets you concentrate on the body language. Nomate explores complementarity, understanding and social behavior through the heterogeneity of the figure and through monumentalization. For this reason, we might consider the figures, 
not to be separate pieces, but one collective piece of work. Our lives are very busy. We run after so many things. We have so many options that sometimes we forget to stop and think who we are, what we do. Public art, especially figurative sculpture, is an invitation to do so. The stillness of the figure against our fast pace advocates the preciousness of the moment. I hope that sharing space with the figures opens further our understanding of the human connection. This project is investigating a complex web of interactions which take place in the process of making the figures between factors like artist, subject, viewer, participant, recipient, audience and object. Nomate is a project that involves people, explores connectivity of large or small groups, allows participation of the public. Today I'm working on a group of figures that are book readers. I'm questioning our shifting from reading hard copies to read text on screens. I look at the future of this project, open to social involvement, human connections, celebration of the individuality, and then applause to the ordinary people. Sculpture should get into our everyday and do so by involving all of us. Thank you.